everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. And today I'll be doing a pick a pile for you because it's been a long time that I haven't I hadn't done some pick a piles. And I'm just gonna do one with all the purples, as you can see, all the lavenders right here for you guys today. Why? Because Spirit has been telling me, give them a pick a card and put some messages in there. A lot of you are in some toxic relationships. A lot of you are getting out of relationships and are trying to go into relationships. So, you know, life is all about relationships, whether you like it or not. Okay. Relationships with guys, um, relationships with women, relationships with all types of relationships. When I do readings for people, I get all types of relationships. Uh, okay. If you would not believe. So... I'm going to talk about these relationships here a little bit while I do this pick a pile uh, because I think some of you guys need to hear it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get, let you pick either pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. And under these piles, you will get a message about your relationship. Okay. What you need to do. Where are you going? And I'm going to put some um, messages from the guides in there. Whatever I think it is that you need to hear. Okay, so pile number one, two, and three. I'm going to put the timestamps below. Choose your pile. All right, let's go. So pile number one, Denise Lynn, Sacred Traveler. Pile number two, we have that uh, energy deck. And pile number three, the psychic tarot deck. Okay, pile number one. Let's shuffle. Message about your relationship. Message about your relationship. Let's do this. Message about your relationship. I'm going to take five cards. All right. We have Valiant Courage. I'm going to show you these cards. Courage. We have solitude in silence, peace prevails. We have staying focused, hold the course, wise leader, and we have miracles. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, basically the main vibe here is that you are a manifester of your own reality. And the more you tap into that power, the more you're going to see your relationship changing. Okay. All right. So let's start with this first card. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. Follow your heart. Follow that vibration that says, I really need this. I really need to share my emotions more with this person. I really need to take that step, even though this relationship is not a relationship that people are accustomed to. It's not a relationship that is um, conventional. I do not care. My emotions say I love this person. My emotions say I want to go towards this person. I should not care what the others think. And I'm just going to dive deep right in. Okay. So they're saying that this relationship here, this first pile is a non-conventional relationship. What is non-conventional? Who knows these days? Okay. <laughs> All right. Just means that it's not like man on woman, woman on man only. This relationship is a very non-conventional relationship. All right. So uh, basically follow that passion that you feel that makes you vibrate. Because, um, you know, this is what, who you, this is who you are, who you truly are. And this is um, the relationship that you need to follow. Okay, and we have here that this solitude card right here. It says, in silence, peace prevails. <clears throat> All right, so this card right here just means that, um, you know, in this relationship, you're going to feel a little bit alone sometimes. You're going to feel like people are going to judge you. You're going to feel like people don't understand you. You're going to feel like uh, like no one is supporting you, Okay. And what they're saying here is this is part of your lesson that you need to learn in this kind of relationship. Um, you are not alone. Look at that owl on your shoulder right there. This is the universe and the trees. You're just grounded all over there. You're looking into this kind of like mirror and looking at yourself. So it's like all about self-reflection. 
So this whole relationship is like a learning path for you, for you to know who you truly are, where you come from, your star seed. So this is why you are in this type of relationship. So, I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't hurt sometimes to be alone uh, or to feel alone, but this is part of your lesson. This is part of something you need to learn um, that being alone is not necessarily or feeling alone is not necessarily something that's bad. It is there. They're giving you this time here so that you can learn some stuff about yourself, learn some stuff about your um, abilities, learn some stuff about humanity, uh, about relationships about how to treat people, about courage, all of that. Okay, so this is what you're learning in this unconventional relationship right here. Staying focused. Another lesson that you're learning is how to hold the course. Because you could so easily like just give up, right? And like give in to more conventional values. And you know what the spirit, spirit is saying right here? They're saying no. <laughs> Why? Follow your heart. Hold the course on this relationship because... Um, basically, uh, this is something that is uh, above your understanding, why they've sent you here. Maybe you're on a twin flame journey. Maybe um, there's something strange going on in this situation. You feel this like spiritual connection. You don't understand everything that's going on. But they're saying just need, you need to stay focused, you need to stay focused on your goals, and um, just hang in there. Everything is going to work out. And it's going to make you such, uh, so much of a better person right here. Okay. A wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So this is another thing coming out of your relationship as well. It's going to show you <clears throat> adversity. It's going to show you how, it, how to gain courage in order for you to light that torch for others. And this is very important in your journey because we think that we're in these relationships and it's like all about the other person or all about the other persons. But it's not only about the physical flesh. It's also about you sharing that positive energy, you sharing that healing with others, you sharing that, those lessons with others as well. All right. <clears throat> and so then finally we have something great coming out of this um relationship right here is that we have the genie in the lamp we have the miracles we have expect wondrous energy okay so this is another thing they want to teach you in this relationship that anything is possible all those magical things that you've heard about all those goals that you put on uh, behind you all those things that you think are impossible they are trying to say to you right here the guys are saying it is possible and from this relationship, you're going to learn that all of these things are possible. This is one of the lessons that is the main lesson you're going to learn from this relationship, that anything is possible. Okay. All right. So um, if you picked the first pile, you have to learn how to be with yourself, learn who you truly are, gain that courage, you stay focused. So that you become more wise and you're able to see these miracles everywhere around you. And this is the purpose of this relationship right here that you're in right now. If you thought there was no purpose, the purpose is here. Okay. It doesn't mean that you're going to have to stay in this relationship for the rest of your life. It just means that this relationship has a purpose and it's serving you. Okay. And this is it right here. Courage self uh reflection focus wisdom miracles this is the purpose okay all right so that's it for pile number one we'll move on to pile number two so we're on pile number two so let's see what the inner star oracle deck has for us here so i'm also going to take five cards from here for pile number two Spirit, give us a message about our relationship for pile number two. Okay. All right, so pile number two, we have five cards. Let's discover these cards right here about the relationship.
All right, let's go through these cards one by one. Really nice cards here. I love these. Okay, so we have clarity of insight. So in this relationship, you're a bit, you're struggling a bit. Okay, you're struggling with seeing clearly. You you're struggling with trying to find out the truth. You're struggling with what to do next how to decipher what this person really wants. You don't understand them sometimes. There's a lot of things going on right here. So it, it means that you need to like, you know, meditate a little bit, think about the whole situation, try to unblock that third eye chakra so that spirit will give you messages and point you in the right direction about this relationship right here because you're not seeing clearly, okay? Um, it seems like this person knows your weaknesses. And one of your weaknesses here with this person is that you're confused about them. You, you have no idea what's going on in their head. It's like they tell you one thing one day and then the other day they tell you something else. So this is why um, you're feeling this way. Okay. So this person knows your weak spot. So um, one of the lessons that you're going to learn from this relationship though is to hone your intuition own that third eye, clear it out, do some grounding protection, all of that, so that you'll be able to see, you will be able to feel, you will be able to hear um, messages from spirit so that they point you in, in the right direction when it comes to relationships and when it comes to everything else. In this relationship, you have expanded your heart chakra. So this is a very good card. You are open, you have given your heart. You have expressed your true feelings to this person. And I feel here that you have a big heart and you want to give in. You want to give everything that you've got, okay? Um, and I feel that you have expressed everything that you needed to say, right? So uh, this is a very good one because when you work on the heart chakra, it usually permeates to the other parts of um, your body and other chakras as well. So um, keep... You know, expressing those emotions, work on the communication with your partner because I'm not sure that your partner is doing the same. So maybe this is frustrating for you because you're like the only one expressing uh, your emotions in that way. And so this is a lesson you're going to learn how to communicate better, how to teach the other person to communicate better with you and how you are able to speak their love language because you're very expressive about it. And um, maybe they are not. Maybe they are someone who is more like touchy-feely or you know more tactile and you know they want to see action they don't want to hear it. they want to see it okay so this is something that you're going to experience in this relationship as well we have a matching vibration card upside down so this basically means like you feel like this person um is so kooky the, this person is so um there's something that doesn't really match your criteria here and uh you guys are not on the same exact level it seems like one of you are vibing higher than the other and so this is why you kind of feel out of it sometimes when you're with this person and i sometimes i feel like maybe you're cringing sometimes when they say something but you still love them you know you still have your heart out there for them so it seems like this is something you're going to learn from them as well how to match your vibrations more, how to bring them up to your vibration a little bit more, um, how to uh, get in sync with that person on a spiritual level. And maybe you have to teach them some spiritual techniques. Maybe you have to teach them about, um, you know, uh, tarot, psychic ability, all of that, astro. Uh, maybe this is your role here in this relationship to awaken them a little bit more. It's going to take some effort, but this is probably one of your roles in this relationship we have the intentional legacy and it was upside down so basically it just means that in this relationship the unexpected surprise is that you are going to leave something with this person that you don't you didn't think that um it was going to happen so for example you'll be teaching this person about spiritual as the spiritual aspect of life You'll be teaching this person about communication. You'll be teaching this person about love language. You'll be teaching this person about, um, you know, opening their heart. And the unintentional legacy that you'll be leaving here 
is very important because this person will go around now and say it to other people and communicate these techniques to other people. And so this is how you are sharing your light here. When you help this person that you're um, in this relationship with, uh, you're, you're basically helping other people as well. Okay. Because this person is going to spread the word. And this is what spirit is trying to tell you here. So keep doing it. Don't discourage and say, oh, I'm wasting my time with this person, blah, blah, blah. No, they are sharing, actually, the stuff you say to them. We have the inner resources. And so this card was upside down as well. So it just means that in this relationship, you are going to be working on, you know, uh, going into those inner resources and finding out what lies there that you can use um, to improve your situation. So when I say inner resources, I mean, like, what's your personality traits that can help you get out of the situation or improve it greatly, okay? So what's going to help you improve maybe your love language, your uh, vibrational sync? What's going to help you improve your clarity? What's going to help you improve that legacy that you're going to leave here? Um, so what personality traits do you have right now that are going to help you improve that with your partner? So maybe it is, oh, um, I'm a talkative person. I like to communicate. Maybe I, I, I'm not afraid to talk in public. Or maybe it's something like I have a dynamic personality. Or maybe it's something like I always speak the truth. So whatever it is that's inside of you that's a resource, you're going to be using it to improve all these other areas as well. And this is going to help your relationship heal and also bring purpose to this relationship right here. So it seems like... Uh, this whole situation, uh, the lesson that is going to come out of it is about communication, honing your spiritual gifts, gaining more clarity, raising vibrations, and uh, leaving a legacy behind, okay? Uh, and this is going to help the collective. All right, so let's go on to pile number three. Okay, so here we are with pile number three. All right, so pile number three, we have the psychic tarot, and we're going to see what's the purpose of your relationship, what's going on, um, what is spirit trying to tell you, why are you here in this relationship, what's the, what are you going to learn from it, all of that. Okay, so I'm going to just shuffle this in a very strange way. And for those that don't know me and you're watching this video, I always just follow what spirit says and what my guides tell me to do. I'm not a conventional psychic. I change my methods all the time. So this is why I'm doing this pick a card today. I usually do uh, automatic writings, but um, I can uh, do some pick a cards as well. And maybe I'll be doing other stuff later on because I always just follow what spirit tells me to do. And um, it has been working for me in that way for many years now, and uh, I will continue to work in that way. All right, so spirits, this relationship right here, wow. Very intense relationship, pile number three. <laughs> All right, so pile number three, you start off with this card. And this card says, I'm going to read it. Financial and material changes. And it's upside down. Okay. So this card is saying to me that you guys were in a bit of a stick financially. Okay. There were a lot of like money worries, a lot of difficult situations that you have to go through. Probably still there a little bit, but things are improving. They are saying you can look forward to these things improving and some of these changes coming very soon for you. Okay, uh, this has been a major cause of conflict in your relationship. And um, the lesson here that you need to learn is, you know, your financial situation is linked to your spiritual situation. Why? Because whatever you think uh, money means to you, you're going to, um, you're going to like put it on that money vibration. So if you think that money is a bad thing, then money is going to shy away from you. If you think that money is only for the greedy, then it's going to shy away from you. If you think that money is only for uh, criminals, then it's going to shy away from you, okay? So the lesson you need to learn right here is change your vision of how you see money, okay? How you see finances, and then 
it will change its vision about you, okay? Because right now money is saying, you don't love me. Right now your financial situation is saying, why don't you take care of me? You're not my friend. And I know, I, I know that this sounds crazy, right? But everything is vibration. Everything is light. Everything is energy. And this money energy right here is not being loved. Okay? So this is a lesson you had to learn from this relationship right here. How to love your financial situation so that your financial situation loves you back. Show it some love. Show it some respect. Show it some, some take care of it. Take care of it like it's your child. Okay? Call your banker. Find out how he's doing, he or she. Find out how the situation is going. How can you take care of it now? You know how you have a child and you just want to put a nice blanket over them to, to make them feel safe? Make your financial situation feel safe. Okay? When you look at it from this perspective, this is going to change your whole outlook on a, of, about abundance. Okay? All right. So I'm just going to move on because I was going off on a rant here. <laughs> All right. Emotional withdrawal. In this relationship, you're going to experience emotional with withdrawal. Why? They want you to experience this so that you know how the heart strings can be pulled when you're separated from your partner. Why do they want you to experience this? Because they are saying that this is linked to your awakening and your intuition. This is linked to your independence about finances as well. All of this has a divine purpose and they want you to awaken so that you can help others. You are a powerful psychic. It just seems like you have a problem with your money vibration. You have a problem with the emotional withdrawal, but they're saying this is part of the journey. It's coming to an end, all of this. Okay. So, you know, hang in there. Try to find out more about how you can um, open your third eye and this is going to help you to see th things through and to finally um, be in sync with this ideal relationship. The more you work on this card, the more this relationship is going to come with all its power and reveal itself to you, the real purpose of it. Positive movement forward. This card was upside down. So basically it's saying that, you know, you had a lot of doubts about yourself, about your power, about your intuition, about the relationship. You can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You've been a bit negative about it. Even though you kind of try to lie, lie to yourself, um, spirit knows what's inside you. And they say that you have not been positive enough. And, you know, at any point in time, you can change this outlook. All you have to do is decide. Decide decide today to change the outlook of your life. The outlook that you have on this relationship. Is this glass half full? Is this glass half empty? And you need to see this glass as half full. Even though this relationship has been a difficult one, you have learned lessons. You are becoming a better person. You are learning about finances. You are learning about your intuition. You are learning about re emotional withdrawal and trauma and helping people and growing and all of this. So just see the positive side. The more you focus on the positive side, the more the positive side is going to pull you towards it and bring you abundance. And so this is where this card is linked. And we have the number one and this card is all about new beginnings. Prosperity begins. Once you've learned all these lessons in this relationship, you will see prosperity like never before. You will be planting trees uh, that other people can benefit from. And you see these fruits here in these trees. So it's like you are going to be helping people to develop their gifts, to transform into beautiful butterflies. Yay! And we see that it just came from this one seed, or this one acorn right here. Okay, and you have these healing hands. So this is something you learn in this relationship as well. All about healing. 
and the tree is all about healing and light. This card is a really good, you know, vibrational card for you to meditate on. All right, so pile number three, you're a healer, you're a psychic, you're a coach. You're going to be teaching people about abundance because you're learning about it right now. You're going to teach people about positivity because you're learning about it right now. And all of this is linked to your relationship lessons that you're learning right now. Every single thing is linked. Your relationship, your money, your spirituality, your job, everything. Once you see that more and more, more the more you're going to unblock your situation. Okay? So right now, what I see in this relationship that is, is that um, it's a bit difficult. There's some sort of separation or some sort of karmic situation going on, but it doesn't, it doesn't really, um, matter because you're learning the lessons you need to learn. And the more you do learn these lessons, the more the relationship is going to improve and the more you're going to feel better about yourself and move into this lovely butterfly that starts planting trees and the trees are giving fruit. Okay. All right. So, um, basically I wanted to end this with a little, um, advice about toxic relationships and, uh, you know, life purpose in general. And, uh, as I said, through these three readings, every single relationship that you're in is there for a purpose, is there to help us, uh, improve our life, improve ourselves. Okay so we should never really be ungrateful and um you know sometimes we go back into these toxic relationships because we're addicted to the emotions that we feel in these relationships so there's also a time where you need to know when to move on when you you know that you've re you've reached the addicted state and you need to get out of it you know that there's been too much abuse or too much trauma and you need to get out of it you need to respect yourself more you need to um, have more self-confidence so that you can get out of that relationship if you really need to. If you know that that relationship is not right for you and you're following your intuition and you know you need to move on, you need to look at that relationship like if it's a bad drug and move on. Go cold turkey if you have to, okay? Um, because some of the, those toxic relationships with comics and stuff can be very, very addictive. All right, so this is the message that the guides wanted me to bring to you today with all these purple colors and I will bring you more love and light. Take care.